A, a, lot, a lot of um, small businesses um, have difficulty in, in financial accountability. And many times it's, it's, it's a lack of discipline. Um, but I always advise um, the micro-entrepreneurs who we work together at House of Tara to make it a point of duty to record. And, and paper trail is now something of the past. There are easier ways to record your transactions. Ensure that all your customers who pay, make a payment to you make payments through a bank transfer, so that's record of somebody paying you actually. Um, also, when you're making your transactions out in terms of your expenses, think about ensuring that you're filling the form that says, the part of the form that says, purpose of transaction. That way you can track how much you've spent, you're spending, and how much you're also receiving. But there are also many apps that can help. Many of us have, yeah, have gone digital in terms of having a smartphone. Uh, we use a lot of, uh, we play a lot of games on our phones. That same discipline can be transferred in recording your transactions. If a lot more small scale businesses um, recorded their transactions, then it would be, become easier for them to see how much money is being generated into their businesses and also be more willing to pay their taxes. Uh, for me as a business, uh, I started being more tax, tax compliant maybe about 10 years ago. Um, it was, it was an experience that I, there wasn't enough information out there um, to let me see the value that I was getting as a business owner. And I think that the government needs to take, make a responsibility of communicating the value um, as opposed to the punitive responses that generally comes with tax compliance. Um, I engage a tax consultant um, and today as the business has grown even bigger, um, I've put a system in place to ensure that I'm held accountable. The system holds me accountable to pay my taxes. So I think a lot of times it's because we don't have enough information and knowledge and tax is something that we're just afraid of. Um, but if we engage someone who understands and is able to teach us in a very easy way, I think it will help more small businesses to be compliant. I still think it's about value. Um, many times people are not paying their taxes because they don't see what the tax is, is actually, paying tax will actually do for the country. Um, and, but I think that um, in a government like this that we voted in, many of us voted for this government, and, and one of the signs of our, of our commitment is to say that we trusted you enough to have voted you in. And if we trust you enough, then we need to give you support. And the support really is to build infrastructure. One of the things is to build infrastructure. And people need to see that when you pay your taxes, the rules will get fixed. So it's really about communicating the value. Let's see, let's talk more about the value that paying taxes does and show the evidence of so. I am proudly tax compliant. Uh, let me show you my card. This is the card to show that I'm tax compliant. My message to, to other entrepreneurs like myself um, is to be tax compliant, is to, to, yes, to, yes, to be tax compliant, but also to support the VATE campaign. Um, being able to come out and say, this is what my assets, and to declare those assets. One of the things that VATE will do for the Nigerian government is to actually know what we have, and therefore be able to plan our growth, our, pro our growth, and not need to borrow all the time because we know what we can project, because we know what the country as a people and the economic, economically active members of Nigeria can actually bring to support the government in terms of building infrastructure. Mm -hmm.